Greetings and salutations, I'm Kev. Welcome back to this Let's Play, or even Let's Read, of Outpost 2. Yeah, if you think the story is too much, let me know. But uh, I rather like the story. That's why I'm reading it. As long as my voice can hold up anyway. Dinner 8, mission, mission number 3. Command control initiated. And this time we have an actual base. And as you can also see, that the we have a very dark landscape because it's night. And I do believe we have a mine. There we go. So we need to set that up first. Get the trucks rolling. Food production in service. And do we have more ore trucks, don't we? We must have more trucks than that. There we do. Ah, let me select all of them, please. So first we have to say tell them to go to the mine. Then we have to path them back to the ore melter. Caution. Then Power back to the mine. Okay, um, and now morale and everything is going down the drain, so now we need to start fixing things. Okay, where are our structure? That's our structure factory. Get the convex over there. Uh, we have a mining drone, you can probably go. I think there are more beacons. Can't really see them, but I think they're there. Um, other things. Research. Yes, let's start research right away. We're going to start with cybernetics teleoperation because that allows us to build uh, vehicles. We're going to start training everybody we can into scientists. Start training, there we go. Of course, that takes a long time. So I want to be ready on that. We actually have structure kits ready. Uh, we don't need those three. We are going to need more agrodomes. There's the more... Ah! Why are you over here hiding? Generate. To the mine. To the melter. Back to the mine. Start bringing in the good stuff. And we can see daytime creeping in on the minimap. Maybe we'll be able to see things out here. Structure kit manufactured. I forgot to check. We did grow supply, right? Yeah, let's just load up all the food. We need the food. Um, other things we need. We could always use a, another New res ready. residence. Food production in surplus. Okay, so we already are growing enough food. Okay, never mind then. But at any rate, we have some extra buildings here that we didn't have otherwise. But we didn't have the in structure kits earlier. Uh, we have the nursery, which allows children to be born. The university, which allows us to train workers and scientists. And an actual standard lab. I'm gonna build the agridome over here. Oh, yeah. Oh, come on, just let me... There we go. Seismic event detected. It was here. So there was a small earthquake down there. If I had structures or vehicles there, they would be damaged. We finished our vehicles, thingy bobs. And you also want to research health maintenance. Uh, not this one, topics. Health maintenance, start. So now we have the vehicle factory in the list because we just finished that cybernetic teleoperation thing. Definitely want to build one of those. There must be more mining beacons out here somewhere. I think I can see them even though that we have... Uh, even though it's uh, night time. Maybe there aren't. Thought there were more. Okay. Never mind. I chose to build the factory, the, the uh, building here. So that uh, there would be more paved road here. Of course, we are going to get an actual vehicle to deal with this. Uh, right, you have a residence. You can build that to I don't know. Food production in surplus. Uh, build it. Uh, where do you want it? I build it here. 
There is some advantage in spreading out the colony, simply because of all the things that could go wrong. And there are quite a few of them. Uh, I don't know if there's a safe spot. I don't know if there's a spot on the colony that's basically safer than the rest of it. Because there will be earthquake events and that sort of thing. Parlors were marginal, so I think we're going to equip the tokamak and build it. Again, the map is scripted, so I could go and read up on that. And basically learn exactly where things will happen. I think it's scripted. That's how I remember it, at least. And you might have to, on at least on hard. On... Normal, I think it's gonna be fine. Research completed. Build this tokamak. Uh, there. Bit risky. A bit close to other structures, but yeah. Uh, health maintenance is done. And we're gonna go with uh, metallurgy. Increases common ore yield, and we want that. Structure kit manufactured. So we have our vehicle done. Uh, because we researched that medical stuff, we can now build medical centers. Is poor. And we can, as you can hear... Seismic event detected. There's the earthquake. And it's very... Uh, Structure completed. Very centralized. Structure disabled. Warning. Power shortage. Food production in surplus. And we're gonna build a vehicle factory up here. Now our new residence. Oh, you idled the nursery. That's not good. Idle this instead. Caution. Power levels marginal. You're idle because you're like a scientist. Never mind then. So I'll have to wait for this. I'll have to wait for this to finish so that we get another scientist so we can get more children. So again, on this map there aren't going to be any enemies fighting us. Oh, this vehicle has to get out of the way. New worker ready. Basically the kids grew up. Still don't have enough labor to go around. The medical center. Oh, let's squeeze it in. Structure disabled. There. The problem with having a condensed colony is that if you have an earthquake right beneath you, that's gonna be very, very painful. If half your structures just basically go poof. Uh, what do we need? What do we need? I'm gonna hold off a little bit. Structure disabled. Yes, I know, and that irks me. Okay, now the training is complete, that's all. You got five new scientists, they immediately start working. Uh, I could probably assign another two scientists here. There we go, more scientists. It's gonna speed up that research. Scientists will work as workers if there aren't enough science jobs, I think. And we're quite short of workers. Also short of power. We're gonna fix that with the tokamak. Speaking of, we need to replace the tokamak. And morale is plummeting. And poor morale means that everything just produces much more slowly. Especially the reproduction of people. There we go, another tokamak. And that's gonna increase the yield. Um, let's start with seismology. And when I researched cars, I did hear that the mission stuff changed, right? Yes, it did. We're not required to have vehicles. They're on the top of the list there. But as you might notice, we also need... Uh, where was it? There we go. There we go. Yeah. We also need more people. We need so many children, so many workers. We have enough scientists right now. 
So we basically need to try to keep our population growing. Which is why I'm building out residential districts. Can I activate this one? Okay. We have a nursery, we have a university. Uh, not going to train anyone right now. We need another medic medical facility by the looks of things. Uh, it will say us just how much power you're producing. It won't say how much we need. Oh, there it does. Okay. 330 of 550 power is being used. Morale is going up. Morale is fair. One idle scientist. Uh, we are going to need another medical center, so I'll build that. Just to have it. These kits we're going to need to uh, relocate later. Food production in surplus. All trucks are going as fast as they can. Nice little supply chain there. Soon we'll have vehicle access. We can build more of them. Power levels optimal. And the first thing we're going to build is build a robo doser. Now I didn't see any new mines. Seismic event detected. Another earthquake. Of course, by the time you get the uh, detected, it's too late. By that time, everything's going all to hell. That's why I'm researching seismology. Because that means we're going to get a little bit of warning. And that can be useful, especially if uh, the earthquake is set to strike, say, under all your vehicles. <laughs> now the medical center we're going to be able to... I don't know. Structure complete. All the way up here, maybe. Structures disabled. Vehicle factory online. Build a robodoser. Um, we were gonna need command center. I don't think we had one in storage, did we? Okay, we have a command center, a structure factory, a tokamak. Uh, an agrodome is going to be needed in storage. Agrodome and a melter, right? Yeah. Structure disabled. Morale is fair. Research completed. Vehicle ready. So we got seismology. Uh, we need this. It's basically required, so we're going to go with that right now. Um, other vehicles that we need. We are going to need the scouts. Come on, or melter. It's going to be required. Oops, misclick. Back there. And we have a little doser. And the doser is going to basically clear a path up here. Something like this. Vehicle ready. That's going to speed up the uh, turnover for the mission or stuff. How many scouts did we need? Two scouts. Two or more scouts. So. Morale is good. Hmm, listen to that. Uh, good morale. We have enough residences. Food is growing up. Uh, growing. Um, we have enough power. Uh, all things good. And we're going to have enough medical coverage soon. So the Darnwell better be happy. Other vehicles we need. Robo miners. Okay. Let's build one of those. Need more people. We need to research that system, which we're researching already. Need four Lynxes, which will require more uh, research. Melter kit, we're building that. Uh, we are going to need one more cargo truck. Okay, so this is the only mine on the map. Oh, there it says the yield. Oh, dough. Basically, every cargo will yield 580. That's pretty darn good, actually. It will diminish over time. 570 now. 
finish the vehicle. We are going to build a cargo truck. Uh, next, we're going to go with... Uh, New worker ready. Food production in surplus. I'm going to go with this, yes. Oh, we still can. Large-scale optical resonators, basically lasers. That's going to allow us to build the Lynxes. Need more people. But we did research the dirt system. And now we have a warning. Imminent. Oh, oh, oh. And that's also an important one. Basically, we need to tell all the trucks, stop! Get the, get the hell out of there. So basically, all the vehicles get the hell out of there. Common metal storage needed. Warning. Seismic event detected. So now there's an earthquake, and as you can see... Okay, it was significantly less than I feared. Still, bad enough. Uh, can I shift-click these units? I can! Ah! I didn't think this game would have that kind of functionality, given its age. So we'll do that, at the very least. We'll put the dozer to work. Back to work. We'll tell you to go and repair the mine. Food production in surplus. A new cargo truck will also be ordered to enter the hauling pit. Oh! Um... Yeah, uh, whoops. I didn't notice. Um... Power levels optimal. <laughs> we're actually full on ore. Whoops. That's bad. Structure kit manufactured. That's a mistake. New worker ready. Morale is poor. Alert. Seismic event imminent. Please don't be in the order. Oh my. Structure disabled. That's painful. I'm in the middle of my base. It didn't seem that serious last time. But yeah, we're gonna have an earthquake in the middle of the base. That's not ideal. Research completed. Uh, there's the mobile weapons platform. Which we'll need. Seismic event detected. Yeah. Vehicle ready. Yeah. Vehicles are much more vulnerable. I wasn't sure, but I wanted. To, uh, tr that's why I did that. Morale is fair. Okay, we're gonna build a dirt unit, and we need more cargo trucks. Pesky that earthquake! So we lost one cargo truck, Food production but one cargo truck is better than a ton of them, which is what would have happened up here. Okay, now our next ore storage is ready, so now we can store more ore. Store more ore! We really need more people. I'm not gonna train workers because we don't have any available. And because workers 
actually produce faster than scientists. Which seems a bit odd, but that's how it goes. Morale is now going down. You're kind of in the way. It was a very localized earthquake, but did a bad... Uh, did quite the number on a structure there. Gonna build one more cargo truck. Again. Structure repaired. Oh, that's okay. That's probably too far away from the mine. To be of any consequence, I hope. Uh, do I want to build a second dirt? Structure repaired. I'm not sure I need one. Let's get the first one out of the yard first. Warning. Seismic event detected. That's the seismic event. Please tell me it's too far away to damage my truck soon. Yeah, that's good. It's good very localized, but it's too far away to destroy my trucks. Vehicle ready. Uh, let's build another cargo truck. Power levels optimal. We're getting there. structure kits that we need. This chain is doing quite well actually, which is good. Food surplus. Oh boy. Yeah, that's far enough away that we don't really care. I'm growing enough food. New ready. Uh, it looks like we're gonna have more than enough food. Research is almost done. And we're losing scientists. Seismic event detected. That's their earthquake down there, so not really Research something to worry about. Um, these are all just basically good things. We're gonna start with the Gorf, I think. Isn't that what this is? No, uh, yeah, Gorf crits. And now we should be able to build the Dink's laser unit, which is basically our first combat unit. Food production in surplus. I'm taking a few chances here by basically comp putting all my cargo trucks or vehicles in one little area. Um, don't think I'm gonna need another common melter. Optimal. So we're getting there, and we need more lynxes for those. We need more children. How many children do we have? Uh, currently, I have 27 children, 23 workers. Oh, one of the kids died. Boo. There's our first little tank. Boom. Structure completed. Structures disabled. And there's the dirt unit, the disaster instant response unit. Morale and oh my goodness, we need another one of those. Or rather, we could use another one of those. And all the homes are disabled because we don't have enough people to staff any of these buildings. I think that's going to be good enough, even though it would be nice to have full coverage. I still need a 20% reduction in damage, 
from, say, earthquakes. Of course, all the homes are currently disabled. You just don't have enough workers. We'll be able to build the Gorf soon. Which we don't really need. Yet. Uh, we're gonna go with environmental psychology. Please don't be under my trucks. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, out of the way. Out of the way. We're gonna build a Gorf. We only need four Lynx lasers. That's the last one we need. Warning. Seismic event detected. Yeah, it was close enough to do damage. And then it stopped. Seismic event ah, again. Oh boy! That was, that, that's, that was just mean. Game, that was mean. <laughs> we just had one up there, so I fled all my trucks down this way. And guess what? That's where the next earthquake is. <laughs> That's mean. Evil game. I swear, the game really wants to just destroy my vehicles. It's like chasing them across the map. Structure kit manufactured. And this quake is over. Okay. So, let's... Tell our ore trucks. Warning. Seismic event detected. Food production in surplus. Yeah, they are pretty quick, but they're still so annoying. Uh not you, obviously. Dum de dum de dum. Vehicle ready. New worker ready. Power levels optimal. You just bulldoze all of that. Please. Another ore truck. Not to repair the damaged structures. Let's see, these were damaged the structure factory. What down this way? Oh, actually, no damage. Okay. There was no damage. We'll repair those things. That's all good. Available scientists is on to five. How many scientists do I have in total? I have 16 scientists in total. That's. Structure repaired. I need 15. Ah. I think I need to idle the factory here. Morale is good. Wait, we still don't have enough workers? No, trainable workers too. Okay. Um. This is gonna be problematic. How do we do this? Structure repaired. Food production is hmm. Because I need more scientists, but I don't think we have enough workers.
We actually have four available scientists. Might as well add them here. Yeah, I might have trained too many scientists early on there. Structure repaired. That's gonna be a bit of a problem. Alert. Seismic event imminent. Uh, yeah, yeah, let's see where. That's far enough away so we don't care. We're gonna build the gorf right there. We need to give, give birth to more children. We need to load up food and cargo. Yeah, that's fine. Warning. Seismic event detected. Yeah, they're crawling across this bad terrain here. That probably means I could idle one of these structures, maybe? No? Okay. Guess not. Uh, we're gonna go with hydroponic roaming media. We might be able to cut down some of the farms. Food production in surplus. Event That's also too far away, we don't really care. The blight is approaching. Oh dear lord, already? Power levels optimal. Uh oh. Okay, where is the blight approaching? Ah. Okay, down in the corner again. Oh, now I'm actually a bit nervous. All we have left is to load up the trucks, though. So, barring unfortunate colonial death and uh, other sad things. If we have to train a scientist now, we're really gonna be <laughs> screwed. I mean, the body didn't spread nearly as fast as I feared it would. Structure completed. Just as it finished the gorf. Which, if I recall correctly, recycles uh, recycles uh, ores and stuffs. If you dismantle buildings, um, yeah, you're gonna go up there. We have there we go. Now that's five thousand stored up. Food production in surplus. Morale is fair. Still, we still haven't even finished building the road. Yeah, this mission was quick. If there's an earthquake right there, we're so screwed. Oh, one of these idled out. Ah, okay. So I'm a bit torn now. I want to finish the research. But if I do, I risk this. If we fall to 14 scientists, we're screwed. Of course, we could also lose a few workers or scientists and or, or, or children. That would also be terrifying. The only thing we need to do right now in the in the in the map is to load up this truck. But we still have research, and that's why I'm. Holding back, and look at this, the blight has, hasn't spread at all. 
No, it will. Alert. Seismic event imminent. Please don't be where I fear you will be. Okay. Uh, that's bad enough. Let's move the convict con vehicles. New worker ready. Alert. Seismic event imminent. Another one. Research completed. Uh, that's too far north. Finished our research. There's one topic to go. Which will basically increase the yield of uh, uh, Tokamax. We're gonna idle one of the, these food pods. I think we're still gonna be growing food. What did you stop, buddy? Warning. Seismic event detected. Alert. Okay. Seismic event imminent. Oh boy, yeah, that's the earthquake we were fearing. Seismic event detected. Move the hell away. Food production in surplus. Let's drop an earthquake right under all your cars. You should be able to move away. But that was still incredibly annoying. I really want to finish this research. Re research. The blight isn't spreading that fast. Warning. Seismic event detected. Uh, looks like we're okay. Okay. Mm, did that kill people? That's the question. Uh, 30, 26, 16. I think we're good. For now. So I want to finish this research, because that will save us time on later maps. Having the stuff already researched, and the blight still hasn't spread. Could, have, could be because of your playing on such an easy difficulty Game setting that ready. it just won't spread until is a certain point. Excellent morale, my goodness. Aren't we doing well? idle workers. You know what? We're gonna activate the factory. I want to see. I can't. Okay. If I idle one of the residential blocks and then activate the factory and build another Lynx laser. I just want to see. I don't recall if we get more vehicles, if we produce more vehicles. So let's find out. Food production in surplus. Morale is good. Hey, there you go. Oh wait, we get another one. Okay. Speeds of cargo trucks. Oh, yes. That would be lovely. What about the blight? Still no spread. So I guess that because we're playing on uh, normal difficulty, it would actually spread from that point. But if you're playing on hard, it would spread automatically from that point. I think that's the case. I'm just gonna keep an eye on my population here because if my population drops to scary levels, I'm gonna load up and finish the mission. But 30, 27, 16. I think we're gonna be okay. I'm even gonna risk. Alright, none of the workers are available for training. Oops. They're all kind of all kind of busy. We built did build a second links. If vehicles carry over, I want to take advantage of that. But I'm gonna finish this research as well. I hope. New worker ready. Structure disabled. I don't technically, technically need the university. As I'm not training anyone. Oh, we lost a scientist, didn't we? 
Yeah, we did. Um. Food production in surplus. Morale is fair. Oh, well, this is gonna. Seismic event imminent. Okay, we can... where, where, where? Ready. Okay, somewhere safe. Um. Structure disabled. Ideally, I want to start with two, but okay, I'll start with one. Oh, dang it. Did another scientist die? No, okay. <laughs> Slight panic attack there. Man, idle this building. Warning. Seismic event detected. But it still isn't moving. I really want to finish this research. This is a bit nerve-wracking because if if the last guy dies, we're gonna have some problems. Um, activate that. We do have a spare worker. We like a scientist. So now on the threshold of scientist, if one more dies, we're so screwed. I'll have to wait for this one to finish training, and we might have to train on yet more. Uh, come on, finish the research. Structure disabled. And I have to keep an eye on the blight because suddenly it'll just explode and we'll have big, big trouble. It looks like we're gonna get our advanced vehicle power plant ready. So all our, all our basic vehicles will move a lot faster. Doing the cargo trucks, which is, which is definitely useful. We do have enough evac vehicles, right? Could so screw me over if I suddenly didn't have any to spare. Research okay, research is completed. There are no more topics. Time to finish the map. And we f <laughs> uh, just as the map finishes, we finishes our finish our road. is surviving. Onwards! Alrighty. That's done! Lovely. And then we're going to start on the next mission, but that's going to definitely have to be in another episode. Time for a cut here. And the next one might be all story. <laughs> we'll see. Thank you for watching.